Welcome to Lavish Conversations. I'm your host, Mika. Lavish Conversations are conversations with inspiring people on why existing is not enough. What do I mean when I say existing is not enough? Each morning we wake up, we are existing, and then we have the opportunity to make a conscious decision to put purpose and intention behind that existence, to begin pressing towards the mark for the prize of your higher calling. And because we are all ultimately connected, you pressing towards the mark helps encourage people you don't even know are watching you or listening to you. These people are learning and evolving and made to benefit others just because of your contribution. And that is when you really start living. There's one little thing keeping you from living in your greatness. That's you. You have, you have to know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You have to really love yourself and realize that you are amazing just the way you are. You have to know that you are unique and there will never be another person just like you. With that being said, today I'd like to ha have a lavish conversation with the most important person in your world, you. You know, they say that love is the most powerful thing in the universe. And I believe that. But what they don't always tell you is that the most important kind of love is the love you have for yourself. We're all taught to love ourselves or love our neighbors as ourselves rather, but how can you really love your neighbor as yourself without truly loving yourself first? Many people think that loving yourself is selfish, you know, it might be narcissistic, that it means putting yourself above others, but I've come to realize that it's quite the opposite. When you truly love yourself, you have more love to give to others. You become a beacon of light, shining bright and illuminating the world around you. Self-love isn't always easy. It means looking in the mirror, acknowledging your greatness and embracing every part of yourself, even the parts you're not so proud of. It means acknowledging and forgiving yourself for your mistakes and letting go of the past traumas and negative toxic behaviors and, and setting those boundaries, even with friends and family and saying no when you need to. It means speaking kindly to and about yourself, even in joking. It means giving yourself permission to be your authentic self. It's not always easy, but let me tell you, it is worth it. Because when you love yourself, you start to see the beauty in everything and everyone around you. You start to see that we're all just human and come to the realization that we're all just really doing the best we can with what we have. So start to give yourself a little grace. And I challenge you today to love yourself. Look in the mirror every day and say, I love you. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion. And until next time, do the best to be the best you you can be because there's literally nobody out here better suited for that job than you. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.